Welcome to the National Manufacturing Debate 2012 at Cranfield University and welcome to Mark Clayden smith Head of Manufacturing Research at the EPSRC, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. Mark, today there was some research published for delegates here at the uh, National Manufacturing Debate detailing the achievements uh, made thanks to a decade of investment from the EPSRC in Cranfield's Innovative Manufacturing Research Centre. I just wonder if you could talk through some of, the, some of the, those key achievements and what they will mean for the manufacturing supply chain. Mm, thank you. Um, and uh, I'd like to actually uh, commend and thank Cranfield University for what they've done. And it's, it's worth appreciating that uh, Cranfield University uh, are actually reporting on their achievements over the last decade. And 10 years ago, manufacturing wasn't as fashionable, wasn't as topical in the public debate and the public mind as it is today. But over that period, while the fortunes of the UK economy have gone up and down, Cranfield University have been, through their research programmes, through their training programmes, trying to push forward the limits of uh, manufacturing knowledge and manufacturing capability. And in this publication, they've really shown how they've managed to work very closely with business, they've managed to create really clever technologies around precision engineering, around sustainable materials, around strategic materials such as composites, and really contributed towards the national industrial and innovation system. And as part of that activity, they really are well meshed into the UK manufacturing scene. So today, what we have is a body of people and a body of activity within the university that has really made a difference for manufacturing and kind of as a platform from that the manufacturing debate is really positioning this university which is a very strong manufacturing research university within the manufacturing community and I think it's from that position that activities such as this manufacturing debate have really come forward mm. so I, I would like to commend the university for that. Today's uh, theme for, for debate is enhancing the supply chain for growth. Mm. Uh, in that context, could you talk more generally about the role that you see for academia and for the research councils in making sure that the research and the innovation that you invest in becomes real technology that the SMEs mm. and, uh, and real manufacturers in the UK can, can use and uh, become competitive with? The the role of the universities, uh, particularly in terms of research, I mean, there's a different role in terms of skills, but the role of the universities in relation to research is really about creating new competitive opportunities for the long term. So, for instance, um, research at Cranfield on advanced welding techniques is creating market opportunities for companies to do things much more quickly, much more reliably, robustly, and in completely different ways, uh, advanced welding techniques that uh, have saved millions of pounds for UK business. So the, the, the universities, through their research, they allow new points of opportunity to be created and then downstream it's really for business to pick up and exploit those opportunities. But the thing is, those opportunities will not be taken up without some interaction, some engagement between the universities and companies. And one of the really promising features of uh, this review of the last decade for uh, the Cranfield IMRC is the way that they've managed to work with business at every level so strategically to actually make sure that the business are involved in setting the overall direction of their research right through to actually working very closely with business in the delivery of research projects and then the exploitation and take up. And that relationship between the universities and companies is absolutely critical for future competitiveness. Sometimes it's working with the highly sophisticated end, you know, OEM type uh, companies, sometimes it's working with the more entrepreneurial technology based companies, but in every case it's those relationships that 
really do make the difference in the long run. Mm -hmm. One of the things that uh, Cranfield also reported today was the fact that they are hosting one of our first manufacturing fellowships. So here we have uh, Peter Foote, who's been very, had a very successful career in BAE Systems as an industrial technologist, who's now coming with the support of EPSRC into the department to, to help guide the direction of their research programmes. So again, that's another example of how Cranfield Manufacturing Research Centre is working with business to develop these future opportunities for the UK. Mm. Thank you. You, uh, you attended last year's debate uh, here at Cranfield University and I wonder if you could give me your, your impressions so mm. far today of how the issues facing manufacturers have moved on or, or have failed to move mm. on over the last year. I'm, I'm looking forward to the debate this afternoon. My impression of the morning session is that many of the issues that people are talking about are the same but the thing that seems to be markedly different is there, there does seem to be people talking about light at the end of the tunnel. There, there seems to be more of a sense of optimism and more of a sense of things actually being done as opposed to things just being talked about being done. So I, my sense is of progress but not achievement. Mm. So there are still things that need to be done but at least people feel that actually as a range of issues it's been taken seriously and people are giving some serious and sensible thought to what is actually needed mm -hmm. for the UK. Are there any particular topics for debate that you would like to raise or you would like to see raised this afternoon? I, I think there, there is a whole, there's, there's a, a very topical theme around supply chains and, and how we develop those within the UK one of the more intriguing thoughts from this morning was raised by Raj Roy, which is the idea of new collective business models, mm -hmm. the idea of cooperatives. And that's an idea which I, I haven't really come across recently within the UK, although it's more common in other countries. And I'm interested in whether or not people see those alternative arrangements as something that will fit the UK culture and scene. So um, I'm interested to see how, th how those get discussed. Interesting. Mm. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.